welcome to Arcade Corner. I'm your host Wayne. I hope you are having a great day. And I'm super excited because in today's episode we will be playing one of my favorite games of all time, Heavy Barrel. Heavy Barrel was created by Data East and released into arcades across the land in the year 1987. Heavy Barrel is a soldier game where you get dropped into an island base area of a madman who's trying to destroy the world. Of course, it's up to you to stop him. So, the game features a rotary joystick. So you move uh, left, right, up and down. It's an eight-way joystick, but then the top rotates. So you can shoot in a 360 degree fashion. The game play is like from an overhead view. So you move up, down, left and right in the map areas, not just the left or right side scroller. So you have the joystick and then your other controls are two buttons, a shoot or fire button uh, for your gun and then a grenade button. And there's two sets of buttons on the control panel for each player, so if you're left-handed or right-handed, which is nice. So I bought this game in the year 1996, so I owned it for about 26 years now, and I bought it from a local operator. This was the second game I ever bought. The first game was just the year before that, uh, Donkey Kong. And I actually bought, I think, four games in total from this operator throughout the years. The most recent was the Simpsons Cookie Carnival, if you watched that video. And that was just a few months ago, so both these machines from the same operator, but about 25 years apart, uh, which was funny. Uh, the other games I got from them was I got an Arkanoid and then I got a four-player Simpsons. Uh, so I've been very lucky uh, with this machine throughout the years. I only have done one thing electronically to it is I replaced the power supply about four years ago. But I have not done anything to the monitor yet. The monitor chassis is still untouched. So the game was about nine years old uh, when I bought it, so I've owned it for almost all of its life. Uh, I did do some cosmetic uh, restoration to it, and I'm still in the process of doing some. So I did uh, take off the side art on the side, the um, like vinyl gray. It had been peeling and there were missing pieces and there were chunks out of the wood. So uh, with a heat gun, I removed the decaying uh, vinyl art and then I uh, used some Bondo to patch up the chunks that were missing and then sanded it all down and then I put on some polyurethane and then I put on the new vinyl uh, side art on the cabinet and I think that turned out pretty well and then I replaced the original black tea molding uh, with this blue which I think really complements the rest of the art colors so I'm happy with that. And then the marquee, this is a reproduction marquee. The original one had cracked. So you can see the Data East cabinets have this curvature here to the marquee area, which you know is visually appealing, but if it's a, a plexiglass marquee, over time it can crack. That's exactly what happened on the original marquee. It just cracked a whole bunch here in the middle. So this is a reproduction and I just have it sandwiched between two thin piece, pieces of plexi. And as you can see, it does not go all the way to the edges here. Uh, so I'm probably just gonna put some black paper behind here or some tape for now, but I do wanna get a, another marquee that goes all the way to the edges. And then I repainted the marquee brackets. So I sand those down to the bare metal and I put on some primer and then the paint and then a couple coats of some clear coat to help protect it. The bezel is original. I have not changed out the bezel. I'm going to keep it. It's in very good shape still. The control panel is still all original. I do need to get a coin door. I don't have a coin door right now. It's just a piece of cardboard. <laughs> so two more things I want to get are the coin door and then the Data East side art for the sides. So that will be in a future video uh, that we'll do uh, once I get those parts in. It is a two-player game, so if you have a friend with you, 
you both can play together cooperatively. Okay, so we're going to play some Heavy Barrel and see if I can get through the whole game on just one credit. That would be just one quarter back in the day in the arcades. Can I do it? Let's find out. And this is the standard cabinet that Data East used back in the day. It has a curved marquee to it. So they used this on other games too, such as Robocop and Bad Dudes, uh, possibly some others. I just thought of Midnight Resistance. Yeah, I think so. Uh, do you know any others? Comment below, let me know. So we're going to play the game all the way through from beginning to end. So this is going to be a long video. No part one, two, or three. We're just going to do one whole video. So sit back and relax, grab your favorite carbonated beverage, and let's play some Heavy Barrel. Okay, everyone, here we go. Heavy Barrel, made by Data East in 1987. Let's start a game. Collect parts for secret weapon. Heavy Barrel. Mission. Destroy enemies underground artillery base. You can see a parachute in. Go! In the top center of the screen is the schematic for the heavy barrel weapon. There are six different pieces you have to collect to assemble the weapon. In the top right you see my score. In the bottom right you see my ammunition for my gun and my grenades. This is the default gun, so it's infinite ammo, but it is the weakest of the guns. I have 30 grenades, now I have 29. You see, I just threw one. And then the bottom there are my number of lives, those heads. I have four extra lives right now. You do not have a life meter in this game. You get hit once, you die, so it's like a metal slug in that regard. There are some gray grenades there. There are two types of grenades, gray and red. The gray grenades have an impact pattern, like explosion of that. The red grenades have a bigger explosion and are more powerful. These enemies just take one shot. Later in the game, enemies take two shots if they're wearing a bulletproof vest. I just picked up one of the three different guns in the game. So you can see my ammunition. I have ammo now. And this one is long range. Here are the keys. Collect keys to open the crates. This, that other gun there, that's the spread shot. That is my favorite of the guns. You can throw two grenades at one time. Here's the spread shot. Destroy that tank. Okay, here are some crates. That is a flamethrower. This is good for shooting upstairs and enemies up on walls. Uh, there is the gray grenades again. There's another flamethrower right here. So I might as well use up my ammo a bit on this one. And now go pick up this one. The red enemies typically will drop keys, and sometimes grenades. Here comes a helicopter. Now unfortunately the limitation of my camera, I can only record 12 minutes of video at a time. So you will see the footage jump a little bit uh, when I have to restart the camera. But I'll do it in locations at the end of uh, levels, so I won't interfere with the gameplay too much. It's just the way it is, unfortunately. Okay, that box revealed the first key to piece to the heavy barrel weapon. Here are uh, red grenades. So you'll see here's the bigger explosion pattern. That other thing on the ground there, that's a, like a chain weapon. Here's more red grenades. The chain weapon is nice because it rotates around you in a 360 degrees. But since I have 99 up right now of the um, red grenades, I'm going to keep those. 
And I just picked up uh, the second piece of the heavy barrel weapon there. I like to strategically pick up the heavy barrel weapon pieces so I have it assembled when I fight the level bosses because it makes quick work of the level bosses. There's the third piece. Okay, these guys are up on the walls here. Use the red grenades for them because see my gun will not shoot up the walls. Another key. When you do assemble the heavy barrel weapon, it is limited. It has a time meter and it will disappear after a short period of time and then you have to rebuild it again. See that was the first enemy, it's pretty easy. And now there's a gate uh, to destroy. And it rewards you with a key. Next level drop in and then there's uh, guns right away. So I'll use that one a little and I'll grab my spread shot. So I got 90 rounds of ammo, I've got 81 grenades, and I have two keys, and I have three pieces of the weapon. So I'm doing pretty well right now, and I have four extra lives. Okay, these turrets, uh, I'm on this uh, traveling bridge here. Now I just got an extra life uh, from points. That's what that dealing sound was. There's two ways to get extra lives in the game. From points and you can find them in those crates. Try to conserve your ammo so you can make your gun last longer until you find the next gun. All right, here comes some more crates. There's a red guy, so he'll have a key. Let's see what's in these. Okay, the gray grenades, I don't want those. That would replace my red grenades. Okay, there's a flamethrower. You see I only got 11, 10 now, 10 rounds left. So I'm gonna switch, and I'm back up to 90. Another key, another key there. Okay, another piece of the weapon. But that guy almost killed me, that was close. <laughs> okay, four pieces. And then of course, obviously when you die, you lose your, your weapon, and if you have a grenade upgrade, or the chain weapon. This might be another piece. No, okay, this is a rotating uh, like shield type. And the more it gets hit by enemies, see how it's taking out these enemies? Now it's slowing down. So it doesn't last too long. And then when it gets hit too many times, it'll just uh, fly away. Okay, there's two guns here. Oh, that enemy's got red grenades, so you want to get away from those. All right, I'm gonna go up there and get the flamethrower and that key. I'm gonna throw some red grenades to cover me here. Oh, oh, see that guy still got red grenades over there. Gotta kill him. There, I think I got him. Okay, now the shield is flying away. Those uh, guys on jetpacks there are gonna keep spawning through that hole. Okay, I just ran out of it. Okay. All right. Remember to keep rotating top of your joystick so you can shoot in 360 degrees. Okay, one of these crates is going to have an extra life in it. I believe it's the second one from the right. Yep. Okay. Oh, tank. Okay, extra life. Now, there's probably going to be a heavy barrel piece in one of those. Let's see, I need two more pieces. Oh, red grenades, nice. Okay, the game is throwing red grenades at me right now because I took too long. There is no timer counting down, but if you sit in one place for too long... Oh, and it got me. Darn it. Okay, now I lost everything. The game will throw those grenades at you to keep you moving. I lingered too long in that area. Okay, 
that was unfortunate because now I'm just back down to my weak gun and the gray grenades. And I lost a life, obviously. And a level boss is coming up. So this isn't the ideal situation. Okay, get these guys up here. Okay, this guy typically starts in the center, so I'm gonna go on the far left corner. Use the gray grenades. Okay, he's probably gonna kill me right here. Nope. Okay, I lucked out. I got him. Nice. Wasn't sure if I was gonna kill him on one life. Since I didn't have a really good weapon there. Okay, there's two guys guarding the door here. I'm gonna destroy that. Okay, and we're gonna sit here a second and reset the camera. Okay, here we go. Key. Next area. Here there's some train tracks for mine carts. Some crates up there. Now this next level boss is where I like to use the first of the heavy barrel weapons assembled. I believe one of those crates there is going to have an extra life in it. Spread shot. Grenade that guy up there. Uh, the bottom one? Yes. And then one of those other two is going to be a piece to the weapon, but I don't have any keys right now. I'm down to 10 grenades. Okay, that red guy there, he should be a key. Yep. Oh, enemy throwing red grenades at me. And those minecarts will kill you too, so you gotta shoot them or get out of the way. See how my gun will not penetrate that, but the flamethrower would. Okay, I'm out of ammo. Get this guy gun. Okay, that was close. I wanna get those red grenades. And I'm gonna open this box here. Okay, nice. Five. Five. Fifth piece. One more piece and I've got the heavy barrel weapon. Okay, there's some turrets on these aerial vehicles here. Red grenades. Okay, I'm gonna get that chain weapon. Because that can get this guy up here on that. Oh, look out! Okay. All right, spread shot. Okay. Okay, I'm doing pretty well right now. I've got good weapons, a lot of lives. I'm just gonna use a bunch of the spread shot here because there's that flamethrower right there. Okay, key. I have two keys. All right, this box here will probably be the last piece of the heavy barrel. And the enemy is coming up. I can make a sprint for the enemy. There's a gun here. Now you'll keep the gun and grenades that you have when the heavy barrel weapon times out. You'll go back to what you had previous. Okay, here we go. Now you'll see the timer ticking down that bar. I'm just gonna run as fast as I can now. There's gonna be a tank here. Okay, I got another extra life. Mine cart. Just gonna straight back and forth. Try to get up to the level boss here quickly before the gun runs out. Okay, here he comes and watch this. He's dead. Easy peasy. Destroy the gates, and here we go. Next level. That's why I like to have the heavy barrel weapon. Okay, it's about to run out. Boom, now I'm back to my spread shot. And I have to assemble the weapon again. Okay, I'm at my maximum of four keys. Spread shot. Okay, stairs are coming up. So I'm gonna get the flamethrower, because that will shoot up the stairs. Let's open these. 
uh, red grenades. I have 84 of the chain weapon. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that. Okay. Didn't need either of those, so kind of a waste of keys, but we wanted to see what they were. Okay, there's more of the chain weapon. This is probably the first piece of the heavy barrel. Yep. One. See, the chain is good for up the stairs, too. Key, more chain. I'm going to skip the spread shot and get the flamethrower again. But I might as well use up a lot of the one I already have. There we go. Let's see. I think these are weapons. Yep. Okay, more flamethrower. Okay, here's more of that rotating shield. You can see how many lives I have on the bottom there, so I'm doing good on lives. Okay, this box is going to be more of the chain. After playing the game so many times, you memorize what is in the crates. Okay, keys. Both of these crates are going to be pieces to the gun. Two, three, three. There's more chain. I'm still at 93, so I'm gonna use up some of it. Okay, here comes the helicopter. Okay, I lost the shield and I'm out of rounds on my flamethrower. All right. 99 up on the chain weapon. Okay, did you see that enemy had a vest on, so he would normally take two shots to kill. Let's see these little robot drone guys. Let's see if I can get these guys with their turret guns. There we go. Okay, level boss is coming up. But I like to leave weapons on the ground in case I die. I've got something to pick up. Okay, let's see. Oh, don't want that. I'm going to keep the chain weapon. Alright, I'm going to leave those there for now. There's two guns up here. I'm going to pick up one of them. Oh, and I died. That was dumb. I should have waited on getting that gun. I'm going to leave the chain. Okay. Extra life by points. All right, get the chain. Um, you know what I could do? I could get, go over to the gray grenades. Now I got 40 of those, and now when I get the red grenade, it's gonna add more onto it. There, see, now I have 80 of the red grenade, and now I'm gonna switch over to the flamethrower. All right, we're going to reset the camera quick. Okay, there's the key, here we go. Now there's two more guns, but I got this one full too, so I'll just uh, grab this one. Here's another one of those elevator type deals. Now those rotating turret guns are getting uh, stronger, they take more hit damage to destroy them. Red grenades are good here, the guy's running up the stairs. I just typically will toss some grenades once in a while. And then also try to hit the turrets dead center with a grenade. Okay, I'm almost out of ammunition on my spread shot. I'm going to try to save that for the um, jetpack guys or if the green guys get too close to me. Okay, and I'm empty. Let's 
still have 50-some grenades, though. Okay, these rocket things are coming back and forth. Gotta get those with the red grenades. Those jetpack guys will hover around you. You want to kill them because they'll shoot. Okay, that guy should give me a key. Yep. Okay, good. Because I need a gun weapon. Oh, more uh, of the elevator. This guy just walks across in the air. I think that's funny. <laughs> Okay, so here's going to be a whole bunch of those turrets. Uh, you can destroy them as quick as you can with the red grenades if you have them. See, they're going to move down as I move down. So, if you want to stay alive, try to destroy them before the other ones arrive. Yeah, you could just leave it go off the screen, but remember, Everything gives you points and you get extra lives from points, so might as well destroy them. Okay, and now moving on. Alright, there will be some crates coming up. Okay, I already have four keys. So I'm going to open a crate and then see if I can come back to that key. Oh. Careful. Okay. Key and red grenades. Funny story. Here's the story. My brother and I, we went to our local mall one year on Black Friday with my uncle and my cousin. And there was an arcade in that mall. So the game came out in 87. So this was probably 88 or 89. And uh, our, our particular arcade in our mall, uh, when you walked in, the first game on your left by the entrance was Heavy Barrel. And we convinced our uncle to let us go play games for a little bit. And it was Black Friday, so the arcade was packed. But luckily Heavy Barrel was open. And as typical fashion for those days, you put your quarters on the monitor or the bezel of the game, my brother lined up, in this case it was tokens, the arcade ran on tokens, and he put up probably eight tokens across the bottom of the monitor, and I said, oh, are we getting to the end of the game today? And then he just laughed, and uh, we did not get to the end of the game. <laughs> so. Back then, yeah, it was it was pretty tough. And I have the game right now set on the tournament settings of uh, Twin Galaxies High Scoreboard website. I'm not sure what they had it set on, of course, you know, back in the day at that particular arcade. Whoa! Oh, I almost got hit there. Got to pay attention. Okay, now I'm like up in space, going across these bridges. All right, this is probably a piece. Yep. Okay, there's a tank up here. That's what it was firing at me. I'm gonna throw some red grenades. More red grenades, nice. What's in here? Ah, uh, well, I am almost out of the spread shot. It's funny how you remember the games in your local arcade when you were a kid. So that same wall that uh, Heavy Barrel was on the far end, right by the entrance. The other far end of that same row is where Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Konami four-player game was. And I would play that one a lot too. And then right across that aisle, you know, on the other row of games, across from Turtles was Gauntlet. And I played Gauntlet quite a bit, too. Okay, level boss. 
running low on ammo here and I'm out of keys. But I do have 67 of the red grenades, so that should be enough. That'll be enough for this boss if I don't die. Okay, I'm out of ammo. He's almost dead, and there we go. Okay, I think there'll be someone. Nope, there's you nope, know, there's a uh, some jetpack guys here. Looks like I have three pieces of the heavy barrel weapon. And you can see I have plenty of lives. Alright. Let's keep going quick before we have to reset the camera. Okay. Two boxes, one key. Which one should I open? Let's go right. Oh, okay. Five. Five. One more piece. Okay, actually, this is going to work out well because coming up is an area where I like to use the heavy barrel weapon because there are just a lot of enemies. It's not, it's not a boss battle, but there's just a whole ton of enemies coming up. All right, I want that key, but I don't want to get that gray grenade. Sneak past here. Oh, geez. All right, now I might as well get the grenade. Get hit by that guy. Okay, there's going to be, at the end of this conveyor belt area, there's going to be some more guns. And there's, oh, okay, see, so that guy took two shots. He's wearing a vest. Okay, this is... This is kind of a sticky situation here. I don't have any good weapon. Oh, that guy almost got me. And that guy did get me. Okay, a key. That is good. I'm running out of grenades. I'm gonna sneak past here. Okay. I'm just gonna charge it. I want one of these guns. Okay. That could have been worse, I guess. All right. I'm gonna get the spread shotgun. That area with a bunch of enemies is coming up. I told you about that'll be to the left but straight up to the right is going to be our crate with the final piece to the weapon and there's going to be some guys here okay can we get the weapon Alright, let's book through here. We're gonna have to reset the camera in less than two minutes. Let's try to get through this. This is the area I was telling you about. Just so much easier with the heavy barrel weapon. That minecart almost got me. Alright, keys, but I'm full. Uh, okay. Spread shot. Okay, might as well. Oh, those aren't the best things to get. Okay. Although I have 99 grenades. I mean, I could see what's in one of these. Okay, that's the foot, the uh, smoke. Yeah, I only got 40 of them, but I picked those up instead. All right, I'm gonna have to reset the camera quick. So we're gonna lose a few seconds of this, unfortunately. Okay, we're back. Back, 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 back
Alright. These guys on the stairs are just gonna keep coming. Oh. Alright, this isn't the best spot to be in with only gray grenades. Okay, these. Remember that claw guy from earlier? Now oh, there's two of them. Now, they're worth a lot of points if I can destroy them. I want to destroy this one before the other one starts. Okay, got him. Well, that's my phone going off. But I don't have time. I can't really stop the alarm right now. There's a bunch of these jetpack guys who just want to keep throwing grenades randomly and turning and shooting. Okay, oh. Okay, sorry about that. I had to reset the camera during the gameplay like that. Just trying to avoid that. Okay, here we go. There's gonna be a helicopter. I missed with those two grenades. That's unfortunate. Okay, I got around him. Sweet. Turrets. Okay, uh, level boss here. It's uh, these three guys in these like mech armored suits. They aren't too tough. You just I've got enough gray grenades, I should be okay. There, I got one of them already there. Try to do uh, direct hits with the gray grenades. Try to anticipate where they are jumping to. Okay. I'm gonna... Reset. Okay, here we go. Okay guys, that music change indicates this is the final level. Now, I don't have any pieces of the heavy barrel weapon. One. Am I going to be able to collect enough on this one level? We'll see. Two. Okay, there's two. Spread shot. I think this is going to be that rotating shield. Or grenades. Oh, red grenades, good. Might as well use the spread shot here. See, it's not getting those guys up on the wall though. But the flamethrower will. So, alright, I'm gonna switch. One of these boxes might have an extra life in it. Red grenades, look out! Oh good, more red grenades. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> okay, I'm out of keys. Yeah, it's not gonna... look like I'm gonna have the heavy barrel for the end final boss. But at least if I have some weapons, and I have enough lives as well, so should be able to make it. Red grenade, look out! Oh, there's a guy behind me. That was unfortunate. I'm kind of, yeah, I'm down to four lives now. All right, I gotta focus here. Key. Red grenade guy's coming from behind. That red grenade guy, got him. Okay, I'm running low on ammo on this gun. Pick off that guy. Uh, that shield. Red grenades, key, open this crate. 
more red grenades. That's nice. Oh, here comes the tank. See how it's like the game is recycling level bosses from earlier. I'm destroy this guy without dying here. Where'd he go? There he is. Okay, cool, got him. Pick up these grenades. I need a gun though. Red grenade! Lost my shield. Killed that red grenade guy. Oh good, more red grenades. I'm just gonna throw red grenades like there's no tomorrow here. Okay, I think there's an extra life in one of these crates. Oh, heavy barrel piece. Oh, key, good. Oh, there's extra life, good. Oh, uh, red grenades. Oh, I don't have any keys, darn it. Helicopter. I don't know if any keys are going to spawn here. Okay, the actual, the final boss, he's going to be coming up here, but he's not, well, I won't uh, spoil it for you. Oh, this much as experience it, okay? I've been kind of telling you things before they happen, okay. Alright, that's him. Tell me I'm gonna die. See, there he is. Standing on his podium. Now he ran away. Well, guess where he went? Now I gotta chase him down. I don't have any keys. I'm not gonna have the heavy barrel weapon. All right, we're just gonna have to hope for the best here. We've got five lives in reserve. We've got 55 red grenades. There's a spread shot there. I'm gonna kill this guy. Oh. Uh, well, let's keep the red grenades for the Let's see. Oh. Four. Four. Yeah, we're not gonna get there. Oh, there's a red guy. What's in here? More red grenades. Sweet. Good thing we kept those red grenades. They got longer range. Okay, here he is. Okay, he's got these arms. I wanted to destroy these arms, and I died. I wanted to destroy the arms first. I died. Three lives left. Once the arms are destroyed, he's a lot easier. I died. Two lives left. Throw those grenades. One arm destroyed.
not hitting anything with those grenades there. Okay, arm destroyed. Nice. Okay, now I'm just gonna just strategically throw my grenades at these rocket launchers on his shoulders and then re retreat back. Yeah, I don't have the heavy barrel weapon, otherwise <laughs> we've made short order of him, but we're still gonna make it through on one credit. Oh no, red grenades, darn it. Well, I was out of gray grenades. Okay, those red grenades will stop. Okay. Now I, I gotta destroy him before those red grenades start again. I only have one life in reserve. Okay, I'm just gonna go for his center cockpit. Because that's his health. Okay. There. I just got him. There we go, guys. Congratulations. You have accomplished your mission. Dismantle your secret weapon. You saved the land from disaster. Thanks for playing Data East USA Incorporated. So that is Heavy Barrel on one credit. And now here are the credits, the staff who worked on the game. The end. Now I get to put my initials in. There I am, first place, 1,482,800. You get 1 million points for destroying the final boss there. I think my top score is uh, 1,500,000. Uh, Something like that. Well, everybody, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this gameplay of Heavy Barrel. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what other games you want to be seen on the channel. Okay? And if you're around my age and you remember going to the arcades in the 80s and 90s, uh, let me know what games did you play? What were your favorites? Mine were, of course, Heavy Barrel, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Gauntlet. I also played a lot of Robocop, which is also a Data East game. So remember, like we always say, keep some quarters in your pocket. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.